Uh, today we're uh, just planting, prepping the bed and planting the flowers, as you can see. There's uh, lots of roses, rows of, uh, of sunflowers and some marigolds and some zinnias going in. Yeah, it's quite a process. There's a lot of prepping to do. Uh, it actually starts back in the fall of the previous year. And uh, Cheryl does a design and then she puts her order in. And then quite often uh, it has to get changed if, uh, if the uh, if the specimens aren't aren't available at that time, so uh, yeah, so it's a big process from there, and then the, once the planning's done, then you wait until the next the next spring, and all the prepping with rototilling and and uh, raking and all that kind of stuff, and any time that we need to add uh, additives to the soil, like uh, fertilizer or uh, some maybe the odd time we'll put in something to fluff the the bed up like uh, like peat moss that kind of thing so and then the prep prep for the bed once it's raked out and flattened and ready to go uh, Cheryl has to take her design and, and put it on the bed draw it out on the bed and then what they do is they they come next they do the planting of the flowers and all uh, all of the uh, hard work from the time it's designed to uh, planting is just showing with the colors and all that Oh, well over 40,000, yeah, uh, and that's just the annuals. Um, and that probably doesn't include uh, a lot of the planters and the hanging baskets. So yeah, about 40,000. So basically once a month, they have to go through and, and hoe out the bed, make sure that the soil is nice and fluffy for the roots to penetrate. And then there's weeding and the watering. The watering is pretty much three times a, a week, uh, but we also have planters that are self waters and so we fill those up once a, once a week roughly and they pretty much just take in the water from the reservoir so you're wanting to uh, water early in the morning so you capture the, uh, that amount of moisture that goes into the soil uh, if you were to do it in the heat of the day sometimes that moisture would be lost so you want to be careful with that and then we watch out for really dry periods like sometimes in August we'll get a long dry period and so we'll have to keep a close eye on the flowers at that time. Each person has their own personal view on the flowers and some people like more one bed more than the other. So, uh, and that comes with the territory. It's all uh, personal choice. But every once in a while, a real heavy storm comes along and, and rips those beds apart. And our, our team responds really well most of the time by coming by and, and repairing everything immediately and so it can recover quickly. Uh, but for the most part, we have really good hard workers. They're, uh, they're always on top of things. And yeah, it's, it's a great thing for them to do and it's, uh, it's really uh, rewarding as well.